say I am close to finish this camper van. Of course, this project will never will end. Always will be some changes, some improvements, etc. But right now is a time when I can say about my three, three biggest mistakes concerning the building the van, which cost me a lot of work, some money, of course, but you know, you can buy a time, so the time is very important. And I think this three biggest mistakes or group of mistakes cost me something like uh, together 200 working hours of work more, maybe 160, I don't count perfectly, but it's something like a 20% of time. No, 200 hours is a, is a lot. Even if it will be 160, it's a one month of work. If you're working every day, if you're working two hours a day, this is like a four months. So it's a difference to finish your job and start using camper in a month. So I think it's a big difference and it's a worth to think about it before you start making stupid things. One big board of laminated ply cost around 150, maybe 130 pound. And standard, like a 12 mil ply in supermarket, like BNQ, cost something like a 30 few. So it means it's smart to use this cheaper ply in no invisible places. It was quite a big mistake. Oh. I don't talk about drawers, but just this in some internal building is construction is from this cheap ply. It was cheap, but not, not when I count the labor. I have to disassembling the kitchen unit twice. I have to replace many parts just because the wood starts bending in some moment, wasn't perfectly flat, etc. So maybe I will spend 300 quid more, but it saved me a lot of hours of work. Again. To save money on these plastics, because these plastics are quite can be quite expensive, is quite expensive. I built it myself, and of course, again, cost me a lot of work, much more than I expected. Of course, it looks nice, but it was a lot. Of course, it will be some fiddling here. Don't try to work with completely unknown technology. It's concerned this worktop, the worktop in a kitchen, uh, in a in a bathroom, and this table. After first success with this small tabletop. I said, oh, nice, good idea, I can save some money. Instead of buying 
work to do it, it myself. But problem was I don't know anything. <laughs> I know something, but not enough to make such a kind of worktop from wood. And it takes me huge amount of time. So when I calculate the labor, no savings at all. Because if I want to buy such a worktop, no, maybe not such a nice look. It's not perfect to tell the truth. I will spend something like 170 quid. But I spent over this worktop over 40, I think 40, 42 hours of work. Hopefully this wood I get from somebody just taken from the skip, so it doesn't cost me anything, but I spent something like a 60 quid for, no, for this work of maybe maybe 40, 40 quid for, for uh, uh, epoxy raisin. So it's 110 quid savings for 40 few hours of work. Come on. Doesn't make a sense. So, again, don't try to use the technology you don't know nearly nothing about it or you don't have anybody to ask. This was third and from this previous it was it's done much better and in proper proper way takes me much less time. Next one stick to the plan. I always try to stick to the plan but very often after some time especially when you build not in a five minute but a lot it's a, it takes a masses you found this, this is better idea or something like that but stick to the plan it's not visible right now but it's cost me a lot of work because first of all i plan much different much different system of heating it should be hydronic but later on I changed for the Truma diesel and the wires was prepared for hydronic with like a free blowers. So right now I have a lot of unnecessary <laughs> wires, wires somewhere and I have to add few hours, few wires more in stupid moment because it's hidden somewhere. So stick to the plan it's save you a lot of work and some money <laughs>